I got to cut my plywood here, but since it's going across the grain, I put the tape down. I've shown it in other videos. And what that's going to do, it's going to keep this from chipping when I saw it with my saw. See that? It's a pretty nice edge. Now, um, because I'm not going to have any inside trim, and I didn't want to have a bunch of splinters because you're going to see it. You only want to stir this. You don't want to shake the can. That's going to cause a lot of air bubbles. It says it in the directions. Okay. The other thing, you're supposed to, uh, like, while you're doing this, you're also supposed to continually stir it about every 10 minutes, it said, because it'll kind of settle. And if it takes like 30 minutes to paint this, it'll settle. So you want to periodically Perfect, yes, nice and gloss. Look at that gloss. This is going in a gym, uh, a vintage gym. Let me show you how great this looks. This is, uh, this is just warm gloss, but the stain is called English chestnut. Look at that shine, isn't that nice? Okay, well, I'm gonna just go ahead and paint them both. Okay, well, here's the two sheets, stained, and they each have a coat of polyurethane. And it says it's fast drying. Once it's dry, I can give it another coat, but I have to wait till this one's dry. But I really like the way it looks. And it has some really interesting designs in the plywood, if you look. Just really um they got like two it's almost like two different color plywoods going on it's really cool just the way the stain worked <laughs> 